Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ of soil mechanics in the topic of type of soil and index properties. So first question, which is the formula for find out the water content or moisture content? Option A, W equal to WV divided by WS into 100. Option B, W equal to WS divided by WW into 100 percentage. Option C, W equal to WS divided by WV into 100 percentage. Option D, W equal to WW divided by WS into 100 percentage. So the correct answer is option D, W equal to WW divided by WS into 100 percentage. So next question, the ratio of volume of air to the total volume is option A, air content, option B, degree of saturation, option C, percentage of air voids, option D, void ratio. So the correct answer is option C, percentage of air voids. So next question, which is the relation between SR and AC that is shrinkage ratio and air content? Option A, AC is equal to 1 minus SR. Option B, SR equal to 1 minus AC. Option C, AC equal to 1 plus SR. Option D, SR equal to 1 plus AC. So the correct answer is option A, AC equal to 1 minus SR. So next question, the coefficient of curvature is option A, CC equal to D10 square divided by D60 into D30. Option B, CC equal to D30 square divided by D60 into D10. Option C, CC equal to D60 square divided by D60 into D10. Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option B, CC equal to D30 square divided by D60 into D10. So next question, honeycomb structure having the diameter smaller than dash mm and larger than dash mm. Option A 0 0.002 and 0 0.00002. Option B 0 0.02 and 0 0.0002. Option C 0 0.01 and 0 0.0001. Option D 0 0.001 and 0 0.0001. So the correct answer is option B 0 0.02 and 0 0.0002. So next question. And the formula for plasticity index is option A IP equal to WL minus WP, option B IP equal to WP minus WP, option C the IP equal to WL plus WP, option D IP equal to WP minus WL. So the correct answer is option A IP equal to WL minus WP. So that is plasticity index equal to liquid limit minus plastic limit. So next question. Who is the father of geotechnical engineering? Option A, Christine Otto Moore. Option B, Classius Claprin. Option C, John Smith. Option D, Carl von Tessagi. So the correct answer is option D, Carl Tessagi. So next question, the void ratio is defined as option A, the ratio of volume of voids to the volume of solids. Option B, the ratio of the volume of voids to the total volume. Option C, the ratio of volume of air to the volume of voids. Option D, the ratio of volume of air to the total volume. So the correct answer is option A, the ratio of volume of voids to the volume of solids. So next question, the porosity is defined as option A, n equal to VV divided by V. Option B, n equal to VW divided by V. Option C, n equal to VA divided by V. Option D, n equal to WW divided by V. So the current answer is option A, n equal to VV divided by V. So that is uh, volume of voids divided by total volume. So next question, application of geotechnical engineering. Option A, foundation design. Option B, payment design. Option C, underground structure. Option D, all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. So next question for GW soil CU is dash and CC between option A less than 4 and 1, 1 to 3. Option B more than 4 and 1 to 3. Option C less than 6 and 1 to 3. Option D more than 6 and 1 to 3. So the correct answer is option B more than 4 and 1 to 3. So that is for GW soil, CU is more than 4 and CC is between 1 to 3. So next question, which is the code required for the soil IS classification system? Option A, IS 1498-1970. Option B, IS 1499-1790. Option C, IS 1488-1970. Option D, IS 1970-1498. So the correct answer is option A, IS 1498-1970. So 
So next question, the water content at which soil change from the liquid state to plastic state is known as option A liquid limit, option B plastic limit, option C shrinkage limit, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A liquid limit. So next question, the water content at which the soil change from the plastic state to semi solid state is known as option A liquid limit, option B plastic limit, option C shrinkage limit, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B plastic limit. So next question, the water content at which a soil changes from the semi solid state to solid state is known as option A liquid limit, option B plastic limit, option C shrinkage limit, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option C shrinkage limit. So next question, shrinkage index IS is option A WP minus WS, option B WS minus WP, option C WI minus WP, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A WP minus WS. So next question, liquidity index IL equal to option A W minus WP divided by IP into 100, option B WL minus W divided by IP into 100, option C WP minus W divided by IP into 100, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A W minus WP divided by IP into 100. So next question, flow index IF equal to option A W1 minus W2 divided by log 10 N2 divided by N1, option B W1 minus W2 divided by log 10 N1 divided by N2. Two, option C W2 minus W1 divided by log N2 divided by N1 option D W2 minus W1 divided by log 10 N2 divided by N1 so the correct answer is option A W1 minus W2 divided by log 10 N2 divided by N1 so next question toughness index IT equal to option A IF divided by IP option B IP divided by IF option C WL minus WP option D WP minus WL. So the correct answer is option B IP divided by IF. So next question arrangement of state of aggregation of soil particle in the soil mass is known as option A soil structure, option B soil permeability, option C soil consistency, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A soil structure. So next question, single grain structure is characteristics of option A coarse grain soil, option B fine grain soil, option C mixed grain, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A coarse grain soil. So next question, in which type of soil structure the particle size is greater than 0.02 mm? Option A honeycomb, option B dispersed, option C flocculated, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option D none of the above. So next question, in which type of soil structure the particle size is greater than 0.0002 mm to 0.002 mm? 0.02 mm. Option A, single grain. Option B, honeycomb. Option C, flocculator. Option D, dispersed. So the correct answer is option B, honeycomb. So next question, the size of silt particle is option A above 4.75 mm, option B between 4.75 mm to 0.075 mm, option C 0.075 mm to 0.002 mm, option D below 0.002 mm. So the correct answer is option C 0.075 mm to 0.002 mm. So next question, what is the scope of geotechnical engineers? Option A, foundation. Option B, retaining structure. Option C, stability of slopes. Option D, all the above. So the correct answer is option D, all the above. So next question. Dash soils are those that remain at the place of their formation results of weathering of the parent rock. Option A, residual soils. Option B, transported. Option C, alluvial. Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option A, residual soil. So next question, soils that are carried and deposited by water is called option A, residual soil, option B, alluvial soil, option C, lacustrine soil, option D, aeolian soil. So the correct answer is option B, alluvial soil. So next question, dash soils carried by the flowing water and deposited in lakes, option A, marine soil, option B, lacustrine, option C, aeolian, option D, alluvial. So the correct answer is option B, lacustrine. So next question, the ratio of the mass of water to the mass of dry soil is called option A density, option B unit weight, option C Y ratio, option D water content. So the correct answer is option D water content. 
So next question, the specific gravity is defined as the ratio of given volume of dash. Option A, mass of the soil solids to the mass of water. Option B, weight of solids to the weight of water. Option C, the density of solids to the density of water. Option D, all the above. So the correct answer is option D, all the above. So next question, the ratio of the volume of voids to the volume of solids is called option A, porosity. Option B, degree of saturation. Option C, air content. Option D, void ratio. So the correct answer is option D, void ratio. So next question, the degree of saturation SR equal to option A, volume of water divided by volume of voids. Option B, volume of voids divided by volume of water. Option C, volume of air divided by volume of water. Option D, volume of water divided by volume of air. So the correct answer is option A, volume of water divided by volume of voids. So next question, the value of air content if the soil is dry condition, option A is 0, option B 1, option C insufficient data, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B 1. So next question, the water content of the soil sample cannot be determined by DAS method, option A over drying method, option B alcohol method, option C calcium carbide method, option D pipette method. So the correct answer is option D pipette method. So next question, in oven drying method, the soil sample is kept up dash hours in the oven. Option A, 1 hour. Option B, 2 hours. Option C, 24 hours. Option D, 48 hours. So the correct answer is option C, 24 hours. So next question, an organic soil sample is kept in the oven for water content determination. The temperature is preferred. Option A 60 degrees Celsius, Option B 80 degrees Celsius, Option C 105 degrees Celsius, Option D 110 degrees Celsius. So the correct answer is Option A 60 degrees Celsius. So next question, in calcium carbide method, the gas producer is Option A methane, Option B carbon dioxide, Option C acetylene, Option D oxygen. So the correct answer is Option C acetylene. So next question, sieve analysis is meant for option A, coarse grain soil, option B, fine grain soils, option C, coarse grain gravels, option D, silt. So the correct answer is option A, coarse grain soil. So next question, in Indian standard IS 460-962, the sieve sizes are given by option A, number of openings, option B, number of openings per inch, option C, size of the aperture in mm, Option D, size of the aperture in centimeter. So the correct answer is option C, size of aperture in mm. So next question, the portion retained on dash IS sieve is termed as gravel fraction. Option A, 4.75 mm. Option B, 2 mm. Option C, 425 micron. Option D, 75 micron. So the correct answer is option A, 4.75 mm. So next question, the sedimentation analysis is done with the help of option A, hydrometer and pipette, option C, sieve, option C, all of mention, option D, none of mention. So the correct answer is option A, hydrometer and pipette. So next question, the sedimentation analysis is based on DAS law, option A, Stokes law, option B, Kalman's law, option C, Rankin's law, option D, none of mention. So the correct answer is option A, Stokes law. So next question, the meniscus correction in hydrometer reading is option A, always positive, option B, always negative, option C, negative sometimes, option D, positive sometimes. So the correct answer is option A, always positive. So next question, which of the following is the correct hydrometer reading equation? Option A, R equal to RH dash plus CM plus or minus CL minus CD. Option B, R is equal to RH dash plus CM plus CL minus CD. Option C, R is equal to CM plus or minus RM minus CD plus CL. Option D, R equal to RH plus CM plus or minus CD plus CL. So the correct answer is option A, R is equal to RH dash plus CM plus or minus CL minus CD. So next question, for coarse grain soil, the particle size D10 is sometimes is called option A, effective size and effective diameter, option B, uniform diameter, option C, all of mention, option D, none of mention. So the correct answer is option A, effective size and effective diameter. 
So next question, the shape of the particle size curve which is represented by the coefficient of curvature cc is given by option A cc equal to d30 square divided by d10 into d40, option B cc equal to d40 square divided by d10 into d30, option C cc equal to d30 square divided by d10 into d60, option D cc equal to d60 divided by d10. So the correct answer is option C cc equal to d30 square divided by d10 into d60. So next question, the coefficient of uniformity CV in the ratio of option A, D60 and D10, option B, D30 and D10, option C, D10 and D30, option D, D10 and D30. So the correct answer is option A, D60 and D10. So next question, the shape of the particle size curve is represented by option A, effective size, option B, effective diameter, option C, uniform coefficient, option D, coefficient of curvature. So the correct answer is option D coefficient of curvature. So again we will see in next video. Thank you.